Okay, this is a quick video to show the features of the Trade Manager. Um, the Trade Manager is an open source project that is out here on the web at this URL. Um, we're currently up to version 2.9. Um, it can be downloaded under the download tab and there are instructions on how to install it and set it up under the wiki tab. Okay, let's have a look at the app. I am a gap trader and I mainly trade stocks on the US markets. Um, I generally trade the first two hours of the day and I like to trade stocks that are gapping. Um, so here's a quick overview of how I set up for the day and how I trade the first um, half hour. <clears throat> Okay, trading gappers. When I get a list of gappers, um, stocks that have a price that's different from the close from the previous night, I look at the patterns on the hourly daily charts and I make some determination on how I feel that stock will trade, what direction it will trade. And in order to make that determination, I use these rules to grade my gappers and then I give them a tier from one to three basically where a tier one's an excellent gap that I have 70-80% certainty that it's going to move in the direction um, indicated by these rules. So here's just some rules that I use to grade the gappers. <coughs> here's some implemented features of the trade manager. It's a Java application um, you can read through these features, but we'll be going through them when I do a quick look at the product. Here's a sample of a strategy that I've implemented. Um, what I'm trying to do with the strategies is replicate what I do when I trade gappers manually. Um, so here you can see from the um, features implemented um, what you can do when you write a strategy. A uh, quick overview of the architecture. It's, as I said, it's a Java application um, with a Swing GUI UI. At some point, this will change from Swing to Java FX. Under the hood, it uses a MySQL database. Um, currently, it has interfaces to interactive bro brokers, trader workstation that allows it to get data, um, live data, and also trade stock. So orders are executed by the Trader Workstation client. When you're using it offline, you can use Yahoo Finance to get data, which will allow you to run back testing on that data. Um, UI split into tabs, as I said. Then there's a main controller. Then there's a service layer um, that interacts with Hibernate, um, which is the API to the database and strategies are written in Java. Everything regarding strategies runs in its own thread. A uh, quick look at the database layout. Everything's centered around the trade strategy and the trade strategies identified by the trading day, the contract, the strategy you're going to trade, the trading account, and a couple of other things like the, bar, the trading time frame that you're trading on. Um, trade strategies obviously can create trades um, and trades create trade orders and trade order fills. Strategies. Um, a strategy is created through the UI. Um, strategies as I said are written in Java. Um, strategies can have many indicators used by the strategy. A strategy can use a strategy manager. Um, that way you can use the same manager across multiple strategies if you want. This is optional. And how you set them up is detailed here. Okay, let's have a look at the application. Here's the application up and running. Um, it's actually running data through now. There's no strategies running. Um, all the columns on tables are sortable just by clicking the header. Um, if you want to find out what a column um, does if you hold the mouse over the column header um, you should see you should see pop-ups like this that will give you details of the column headers 
So you can see here's a contract. If you hold it over a contract, it gives you DLC details of the contract. But this gives you details of all the like. The buttons here act on individual rows, whereas the button bar at the top here acts on the whole tab. Um, let's have a look at the contract details tab. Um, to add things to a tab, you just right click, by the way. Um, contract details tabs. This shows you details of any contracts that are actually trading. Here we have one that I've been trading this morning. Um, you can see the chart, some indicators I have here, the volume. Down here you can actually manually add and execute um, orders if you want. Here's a bunch that I did this morning. This gives you a summary of what's happened so far. Um, the charts you can zoom in just by highlighting an area. It will show any trades that happened on the charts. Um, you can see this chart is updating every five seconds. Even though the data underneath it, if the strategy is set to, will be um, updating as the last price changes. Um, you can change the time frame <coughs> from 5 to 15 to whatever you want to see here. Um, you can kill the strategy from here, you can get chart data from here, and you can close tabs from here. A portfolio tab. This detail has a summary section at the top here. Let's show the whole of 2012 and 13. So this is running from this date range. Um, at the bottom it gives you the detail of each contract that was traded. If you want to see what wasn't traded, you can check this box here and I'll do that in a second. Um, all the columns are sortable just by clicking, so if you want to sort by all your profit and all your loss, you can sort over here or by contract, etc. The summary gives you um, a batting average, which is your wins versus loss, a sharp ratio, which is detailed there, and basically summed by month, and then a grand sum by whatever your date range is. Uh, let's just go back to 2013, redo the search, but this time show all trades. And you'll see what I mean. You can see positions here that weren't traded. For instance, these two weren't traded because the uh, first bar on the strategy was out of percentage range. But it gives you more detail of stocks you have that weren't actually traded. Configuration. This tab has basically underlying tables that are configured uh, when you set the system up. So you've got things like, here's all the strategies I have, there's strategy managers, and indicators used by a strategy here. Uh, you've got trade account, so I've got two trade accounts set up here, a test account and a live account. Uh, code de decode, these are used for indicators, so it's the attributes an indicator may have and entry limits. This basically has the stock prices in ranges going up to a thousand dollars and then things like stop limit amounts. So if you put a stop limit order in it'll give a two cent range for the stop limit. Um, percents on bars, so if a bar is bigger than four percent or three percent for this stock range it won't tra trade it. Um, when you put an order in um, you can tell it don't use more than say 50% of the total margin available. If you want to round shares for particular um, stock ranges on orders you can do that. So if you're using some sort of formula to calculate the size of a position that you want to enter based on a chart pattern then you can round the shares here. Again rounding price. This is used for rounding above and below whole numbers. So if you wanted to buy and the chart was indicating to buy at 0.97, you might want that to round to 0.01 above it and not enter until the price had moved through the whole number. So you can give it a, um, a plus or minus at a whole or half number to round to and pivot ranges. Um, over here you've got the strategies, so this gives you the code for the strategy. If we click on one of these, you can actually see all the Java code for the strategy. When you save this, it allows you to version it, so you can have multiple versions of your strategy stored in the database. Here's a description of what the strategy does, and down here you've got the methods 
for the strategy itself, which is this one, and then all strategies are inherited of an abstract strategy, which provides you a whole bunch of methods you can use for getting in, creating orders, cancelling orders, deleting orders, etc., etc. Okay, let's uh, quickly set up a strategy and use it. So I'm going to close this down and bring up a test system. Save a bit of memory here. Uh, live. When you connect live it automatically connects to an account and asks you if you want that to be your default if it's not the current default. So you can see the values here now have just updated um, with the current state of my test account in Trader Workstation. Let's import some stocks. So I've got a test file here for the 11th of January if we click on that you can see it's imported some stocks um, from a file it uses a comma it uses the same comma separated file that if you go into Trader Workstation and do file export contracts it creates a CSV file that file can be used to um, import into the application it uses the same format uh, I can quickly show you that format So you get a file that looks like this out of Trader Workstation. And these are just optional fields that I've added for my use. They don't need to be filled in. So now let's get some data. We've got a bunch of contracts for the 11th. So we'll hit Get Chart Data, which will bring in data on a five minute basis and two days worth of data. Oh, we need to save. Now the data has been brought in. If we double click on one of these guys it will take us through to the contract tab. That's also true if you're on the portfolio tab. You can double click a symbol and it will bring you over to the contract. So you can see here we've brought data in for this contract. Now let's run the back tester. Um, so in order to run back testing which is this button here we need to disconnect from Trader Workstation. Hit the back test button. And we can see these turn green and they turn green and yellow. Yellow means they're completed and green means they're running. Um, you can see from the status positions have been closed and some weren't entered because of percentage range. So if we go to the contract now, we can see we had a position here that was entered into and closed over here. And down the bottom here, you can see all the trade orders that were created. And if we hit the portfolio, there you are, you can see two stocks were traded, one made nothing and one made uh, $600. Now let's delete all the orders for this set. Oh, and you can see the state's changed. Now we're going to add a new um, contract. So we go to the configuration, do add. Now I've already got this written over here in Eclipse, the new strategy. It's a VWAP strategy that um, is based on the first five minute bar. So we're going to call that this. Give it a name. Class is going to be this. We'll pick a strategy manager. So there we have that. Well, let's add some indicators. So we'll have a moving average. Let's put a 20. SMA in there. And we'll display it. 